Hey guys, Tom from Lushdahl here. Today we're going to talk about a few ways you can get paid to read books. Yes, it is possible. No, you won't make a lot. As always, I like to get straight to the point. So let's begin. So the first one on the list is an app called Bookstuff. It'll pay you to read books. Remember, you're not going to get rich using these apps. You won't make a lot of money, but if you're going to read, you might as well use these apps. This is no exception. So on Bookstuff, what you're going to do is pick from a list of books. They have hundreds of books. You can either look at the list or you can search. So if we open up the app here, you can search up top or you can choose by genre. So for example, I'll just click on adventure here. And if I did read this Call of the Wild book, I can open it up and I can click the play button here. And this will open up five questions and you'll be timed. And you need to get the five out of five right to be rewarded. Now, if we go to the books to frequently asked questions, you're going to earn one coin from reading a hundred books. So every book you read and get right, you're gonna get 0.01 coin. So you're gonna need to read a hundred book, or Take 100 book quizzes to get the one coin, which is 1.00 here. Now, keep that in mind because I'm going to take you here to the rewards section. As you're going to see on this coupon here, you're going to need five coins, which means you're going to have to read 500 books or take 500 quizzes. A lot of these books you may have already read, you can take the quiz, to get $50 in gift cards. So if you already read 500 books or you know the answers to five questions, you can earn these gift cards. Now, in between quizzes, you are going to have to watch ads, so it's not as easy as clicking and earning. And they make money through Amazon if you're going to buy the book from them if you want to read that book. It's a way to get paid. You won't make a lot, but it's an option nonetheless. Okay, number two here is booklistonline.com. It's the American Library Association's review journal for librarians. In short, they do hire freelance reviewers who wanna read books and get paid for it doing so. In this case, they pay $15 for book reviews, even $5 for rejections, and then $12.50 for blog posts. If you wanna read about the uh, requirements, I'm not gonna bore you, but you can follow the link. I'm gonna put it in the description. You can also follow that blog post link. There's a lengthy uh, guideline to read through what they're looking for, such as reviews. Should be no longer than 175 words. So it's not that you're going to have to write an essay. Reviews can be very short. So if you're looking for a way to make a couple dollars and read and doing so, this is one to consider from a reputable organization. The onlinebookclub.org is a free site for readers and it's been around for more than 10 years. They have tons of awesome feature for book lovers. It's a massive community of active members. It's basically, as it says, an online book club. Now, if you go to the review section, as you can see in my screen here, this isn't a crazy online get rich scheme. You're not gonna get rich. I can't stress it enough in this video, but you can make five to $60 per review. For your first review, you will be given the book for free. After that, you'll be eligible for the paid review opportunities. The books will always be free. You do not have to say you loved it. You just need to be honest. If it's something you're interested in, they're gonna send you the books. You can't choose which ones you want. But if you want to make five to sixty dollars review to get paid, then you can follow that link and fill out the sign up form here. This is a legit opportunity again. Not much, but five to sixty, that can be something that adds up over over the weeks if you do one, two, or three a month. The usreview.com, it's another one that hires freelance writers to review books for publication. You can contact the editor with a resume, sample work, and at least two professional references. They will accept your materials by email or through regular mail. They have stricter standards than most, but it's another one that you can sign up for. Uh, book titles are periodically posted for potential reviewers. They're asked to read from the list and return their preferences, and then it's assigned in order. So you can choose from a list, but it's not gonna be ones you can choose. Reviews run 250 to 300 reviews. In terms of how much you're paid, you're paid monthly for every review completed. Usually, like the other sites, you're not gonna make too much, five, fifty dollars top. It's another one you're gonna have to submit your resume, but if you get accepted and they like your review style, it's one where you can get paid to read books. This one is KirkusReviews.com. They're an indie book publisher of sorts, and they're always looking for experienced book reviewers. And what you should do is if you're interested in writing these book reviews, you're gonna to wanna to go to the site and check out the reviews that have been written already. And you can find these by clicking on this link here. So reviews are gonna be about 350 words. Um, and they'll want something every two weeks. They'll assign a book so you can't pick the book that you wanna read. But nearly all genres of all lengths, digital hard copy, paperback format, there's something that can interest you. Again, it'll be uh, indie books. It won't be the popular bestsellers. If you are interested, you can submit a resume, writing samples, and a list of of reviewing specialties to the editor's email right there. Again, I'll link to these in the description. 
This one's pretty specific, but I just wanted to mention it quickly. It's called getabstract.com. What they do is they take a book and then they wind it down into a little snippet so people can just read it and get a summary of sorts. Uh, they're almost always hiring people in specific industries. For example, while I was reviewing it, they were looking for people in a science and technology uh, background. And in this case, if you did have a background and you wanted to write on a freelance basis, you could apply here. All they ask you to do is submit a short sample summary and then let you let them know about your areas of expertise. This one does change from time to time, so check it out. It's a great company that you can work for and make a couple dollars reviewing books that you've read or that you can get assigned. Writer Full Books is another one. They're always looking for book reviewers. If you've just finished an earth-shattering novel or you just want to let other people know about it, this one's that one you can choose to submit a review on a book you have read. So the type of books you review are up to you, but they do have a preference from American, Australian, etc. Um, if these authors have been nominated for a book reward such as these, then that's even better. So the more popular the book is, usually the better chances you, ha you are of getting um, accepted here. As an incentive, the top reviewer who has published the most quality reviews will get a $100 Amazon gift card. But not only that, trusted book reviewers do get paid 10 to $50, depending on how in-depth the review is. If there's another one you're interested in and you want to submit books you have reviewed, they have a lengthy qualification list, as you can see here. I linked it again. Browse through it, and then you can fill out the form right here if you are interested. Okay, this is outside the box thinking, but if you want to get paid more than what I've already mentioned, consider getting a job that gives you a lot of downtime. This could include a security guard position, a receptionist position, basically any third party job. Search Indeed.com, look for the overnight shifts. A lot of those jobs you will find like security in that will give you a lot of downtime to get paid to read. Okay, so that sums it up. A lot of times, as you can see, if you want to read books, you're not going to be able to pick out the book you want. Instead, you're going to have to be assigned a book, then you're going to have to write a review. If you like the idea of reading books that are unknown, usually from independent publishers, then this is something to do. You're not going to make much, maybe a couple dollars a month. You might be lucky to hit $50 review. I would just do it if you want to check out new books and you want to just be compensated for your time. Other than that, there's other ways to make more money if you're in it to make money. Don't count on it. As always, check out LushDollar.com for more ways to make money, save money, be smart with your money. Also, check out the video section. I keep adding on. Comment, be sure to like, subscribe, the usual, and I will see you next time.